Hello world! Today we are in Rio de Janeiro, city of never-ending holidays and amazing contrasts. This marvelous city located on the Atlantic coast of Guanabara Bay is the main tourist mecca of Brazil. The Portuguese navigator Gaspar de Lemouche arrived in Guanabara Bay in January 1502, but due to the small width of the strait, only one and a half kilometers, he mistakenly took it for the mouth of the river. From here the name Rio de Janeiro takes its origin. It translates from Portuguese as the River of January. The French colonists managed to seize control of the area of the modern Rio in 1555. The city official date of the foundation is 1565, when the Portuguese established a base for operation against the French at the foot of the Sugar Mountain. Later, in 1763, the colonial administration almost completely moved to Rio de Janeiro, and for almost two centuries the city became the capital of Brazil. Today, Rio de Janeiro is the most popular city in Brazil, attracting thousands of tourists from all over the world. Rio de Janeiro, located on the Atlantic coast of Brazil, is the capital and administrative center of the same name state. The city total area is 1260 square kilometers. Here lives about 6.5 million people. The distance to Sao Paulo, the most populated city of Brazil, is 358 kilometers. Rio de Janeiro has a tropical climate and it's always a high humidity here. The average temperature of summer, from December to February, is plus 26 degrees Celsius. Winter, from June to August, is plus 21.5 degrees Celsius. Water average temperature never falls under plus 20 degrees Celsius. Rio de Janeiro is a tourist gem and one of the most amazing cities in South America. It combines magnificent beaches, skyscrapers of financial corporations and poor favelas. The world-famous Copacabana beach is 4 kilometers of sunny sandy coast, a place for rest for citizens and tourists, celebrations, festivals and concerts, as well as matches for beach sports. The nearby Panema beach is gorgeous as well. Clean yellow sand, beautiful views of the mountains and the ocean. Another beach is Apardor, located between Copacabana and the Panema. It's rockier than its famous counterparts are, but less noisy and crowded. The next popular beach is Leblon. Located next to the eponymous fashionable district of Rio de Janeiro, the beach considered as a place for rest of wealthy citizens and golden youth. To the north located Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon, shaped like a heart. The Olympic competitions in rowing among canoeists take place here in 2016. On the territory of the renewed port, in honor of the Olympiad, located graffiti the Ethnicities, the largest world image painted by one person. The undoubted business card of Rio are of course Sugarloaf Mountain and the statue of Chris the Redeemer on Mount Carcavado. The monument is located on the territory of the Tijuca National Park, the largest urban forest park in the world. In addition, for tropic enthusiasts, nearby located the Botanical Garden, founded in 1808. 
Today, Rio is one of the most densely populated cities in the world, whose residents known as Cariocas. Thousands of tourists arrive in Rio de Janeiro every day. City has three airports working with such passenger traffic. Buses are the most common form of public transport. More than 800 bus roads provide transport links for residents and visitors of the city. Since 1979, the metro starts operating in the city. It is small, only two branches, but convenient, by the way. There are many bicycle rental stations too. Rio has many hills, so the funicular became one of the convenient ways of transport. Rio de Janeiro is a city of amazing contrasts. Luxury beaches and modern areas coexist with favelas, where concentrated about 20% of the city's total population. Rio is a city where various architectural styles mixture together. Downtown area is worth mentioning. There are many palaces, cathedrals and museums, as well as skyscrapers located here. Not far from the Santa Teresa district located the Metropolitan Cathedral of Saint Sebastian. It resembles a Mayan pyramid or an elaborate skyscraper, but you will never guess it's a Christian church. Lap Arches, or as it's also called the Carioca Aqueduct, is crossing nearby square. From the end of 19th century, the arches of the aqueduct serve as a bridge for the famous St. Teresa tram. Not far from here located another popular tourist spot, the famous Celaron Steps. This is the Candelaria Church, one of the most beautiful in the city. Theatrical art was rapidly growing in Rio de Janeiro during the second half of the 19th century. At this time was built a wonderful neo-renaissance municipal theatre. The Museum of Tomorrow, standing in the city port, is like floating above the water. During the day, the solar panels placed into the roof of the building follow the course of the sun. Nearby, over the Guanabara Bay, stays Rio Niteroi Bridge. This giant structure is more than 13 kilometers long. Sport plays a big role in the city life. Football, without any doubt, is the most popular. Famous for the whole world, the largest in Brazil and for some time in the world, the Maracanã Stadium is the home arena of the Brazil national team, Flamengo and Fluminense clubs. Many famous matches, finals of the World Championships and Olympic Games took place here. Rio has its own hippodrome. God created the world in six days, and on the seventh day he created Rio de Janeiro. That's how locals describe the stunning city. In this modern metropolis, memorable natural landscapes, tangled with the modern architecture, historical and cultural beauty. Thank you for watching. Best regards from Hello World team. Então, o Rio de Janeiro é um lugar bem bonito, apesar de ser, tipo, bastante violência e quando você vai assim na rua, tem que ter cuidado para para não ser assaltado e nada disso, mas o brasileiro, né, nunca desiste, né? Porque as pessoas aqui são felizes, uma praia, curte. E é isso. E eu tô com um pouco de vergonha, mas é isso, as pessoas são felizes apesar de tudo. Valeu, já é? É nóis! Então, aqui é o Rio, eu sou carioca, eu moro aqui. Eu amo minha cidade, é que todo, qualquer momento do ano a gente pode ir pra praia. Aí tem muita gente bonita, muita gente joga bola. Tem muita coisa pra pessoa de fora que não é daqui fazer. Tem o Cristo, tem muitos pontos turísticos legais e aqui sempre tem coisa pra fazer à noite. Então, aqui é uma cidade maravilhosa e pra qualquer pessoa é bem-vindo aqui.